we will be fasting, hopefully not, but if we will need to fast for the fast of Yud Betevet, we need to, um, to, to learn a little bit about this, about this fast. I saw a chidush not long ago that I didn't know, and it inspired me for the fast of Yud Betevet. So I want to share the secret with you. It says in Shulchan Aruch, he brings it from the Abu Dirham, one of the Rishonim. Uh, some people say Abu Dirham, Abu Dirham. It depends how Sfaradik you are. And he says something very interesting. We know that any fast that we have, if it falls on Shabbat, we don't keep the fast. Only Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is from Torah. But let's say you design Betamuz falls on Shabbat, we delay it to Sunday. Even Tisha Be'av falls on Shabbat, we delay it to Sunday. Means Shabbat is stronger than a fast. But the Abu Dhiram says, you know what if... Yud Betevet will fall on Shabbat. You know what's going to happen? We will fast on Shabbat. Ma? Yud Betevet. It's a very uh, easy fast, we call it. So, Motakalim. It's not something so important like Tisha B'Av. What happened in Yud Betevet? The Bukhadnezar made a matzor. A siege on, on Yerushalayim. Seder Chayab. We're not saying that it's not a, a reason to make a fast, but to say that this is more important than Tisha, we will fast on Shabbat. We don't fast on Shabbat, only on Yom Kippur. Now, Chachamim say that this is all theoretically. If the Yud Betevet will fall on Shabbat, we will, we will fast. However, it never happened, and it will not happen. Because the Kadosh Baruch Hu made it in a way that Yud Betevet never falls on Shabbat. But if it would fall on Shabbat, we will fast. The Khatam Sofer is asking, why? What's so important about Yud Betevet? Makol Kachashu. Interesting, no? Huh? So the Khatam Sofer says, the Chidush. That when I heard the Chidush, I wanted to dance. But I, I was tired, I didn't. But I wanted to dance. From happiness. I like the Chidush. Hatam Sofer says the following. Hatam Sofer say, um, we know that a, a beginning of everything, it's the most important time. So when was the beginning of Churban Bet of the destruction of the temples, of all temples, two temples we have? The beginning started in Yud Bet Tevet. Yud Bet Tevet was the first situation that we remember in history that we fast for that. Matzor of Nebuchadnezzar on Yerushalayim. Surrounding Yerushalayim, no food, no water, nothing in and out. That's the first Beginning of the destruction. That's what we fast. The second level was Yudzayin Betamuz, which the, the Yerushalmi say that the, the walls broke on Yudzayin Betamuz. And then three weeks it took them to get to the, to destroy the temple on Tisha B'Av. But the beginning was on Yud Betavet. Says the Khatam Sofer, on Yud, on Yud Betavet, what's happening? He says there was a Beit Din Shalmala. There was a judgment in Shamaim. The temple should be destroyed or should not be destroyed. And there was reason for right and reason for left. For to being destroyed, left, or to not be destroyed, right. And they say, The Din, the, the power, the negative decree, won. When it happened, this judgment... In the beginning, Ba'at in Yud Betevet. Yud Betevet, there was the judgment what's going to happen because that was the beginning of all what's happening with the destruction. Says the Khatam Sofer, and therefore, every year, Kol Shana, 
on Yud Betebet, the same judgment taking place again. Why? Because the Talmud say, Dor shelo nivna bo bet hamikdash beyamav keilu nechrav beyamav. A generation, every year that the temple was not built, it means that if it would be built, we deserve that it, it, it should be destroyed. I mean, it should be destroyed in our, in our times. If we had a temple right now, it would be destroyed. When is the judgment taking place every year? If we should have Bet HaMikdash, we deserve a Bet HaMikdash, or we don't deserve a Bet HaMikdash, it's a Yud Bet Tevet. And because Yud Bet Tevet, Khatam Sofer says it's the judgment day, it's a very, very important day. It's the day that basically the decision if Mashiach will come and will be Bet HaMikdash this year or not is taking place. Now everybody is screaming Mashiach, Mashiach, Mashiach in the streets. They don't understand that there's one day that it's decided. It's on this Friday. Yud Betevet. Now, there is another halakha regarding uh, fasts. You know that we don't fast on Shabbat, right? We said that. What's the reason we don't fast on Shabbat? What's the problem to fast on Shabbat? Let's say I want to take my own fast on Shabbat. I need Shabbat. Why I can't? Because the karata le Shabbat oneg, Shabbat should be an enjoyment. And if you're fasting, so you don't enjoy. So you're not allowed. Same as we're not allowed to cry on Shabbat. So all the fasts are, exa- are, 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 are prohibited on Shabbat. But there's one fast that is mutav on Shabbat. What fast we're allowed to do on Shabbat? <laughs> At one point. <laughs> when you have a bad dream and you wake up in the morning, you don't know what to do. You just saw a dream that you know that the interpretation of that dream is bad. And you're really worried. What should you do? Chachamim say there's something that 100% will work if you will fast. Doesn't matter what dream you had, we can, will be canceled. So you're allowed to fast on Shabbat for that. So what's the what's the logic behind it? Because the Gemara say because because when you fast on Shabbat, you know you cancel the dream, so now you're happy. So it's an enjoyment. Say the same thing the Chatam Sofer. That's why when Yud Betevet falls on Shabbat. We fast, if it would fall. You know why? Because it's the day that the, the Geula is decided. We want to fast because fasting on Yud Betevet is helping the judgment to be to the right side. To be written that Bet HaMikdash will be built. The Bashiach will come. So we want to fast, even if it's on Shabbat. It's <laughs> Shabbat Yeah? That's why Rabotai, what is the Chidush here? The Chidush here that on this Friday, we have a very special Friday. We thought, oh, okay. It's a black Friday. Yud Vetevet. No, no, no. It's a white. It's a white Friday. Why white Friday? Because we can bring Mashiach on Friday, Rabotai. According to Khatam Sofer, I'm not telling you Chidushim that I made up. He says that's the day the decision if Bet HaMikdash will be built this year or not will be built this year. It's, now, what does it depend on? It depends on how we fast. If we do everything according to the Halakha, Bezrat Hashem, that's what we should. Everybody who is not exempt from the fast, Latsum Akpid, maybe even more than we are Makpid on, on other Tzomot, here should be very careful. And ask Akadosh Bahu the whole day. The whole day of Friday needs to be it bodedut, talk to Akadosh Bahu and tweet a filot asking for Betamikdash for Gyulaf for Mashiach Bazotash. Bahu Kadonai Leolam, Amen Amen.